Hello. Some of you may know me as Gregor Arturo. Others may know me as uh, Gregory Clary, the name I grew up with. And name is just a name, but what we do with that name is what we make in our life. How we succeed. Uh, our dreams, our goals, and fulfilling them. And I've had a goal I've worked on for several years now and put my heart and soul into it. And it's taken a beating on me. <laughs> and But I keep persevering, I keep pushing forward. And one of the things that helps me pushing forward, keep pushing forward, is people like you, people who have been supporting me, people who have faith in me and my abilities, people who see and connect with my dream, because then it doesn't become my dream, it becomes our dream. Because really, the dream is about sustainability. It's about perpetual motion within our souls, within our society, within our energy systems. How we can keep moving forward and keep expressing our creativity. That's my dream. And I've slowly been learning it's, it's a lot of our dreams. We all just want to create. We all just want to be here in the present, loving, fulfilling our desires, our passions, our loves. And so, one of the latest videos, or the last video I posted on YouTube, was about a project of mine. I described the inner workings of the project, about how Tesla towers work. A project I call call it the Tesla Tree Project. And it's a project I want to implement at the grassroots level, with community, to create public-owned power structures to power our towns, but not only are these systems there to provide energy for us, but they're places of creativity. It's where we create energy. And they themselves become public structures in which we go to, just like a cathedral, and we pray. But that praying is one of creation and being a part of the creation and facilitating the creation. So what I've been trying to bring to this world is a connection, a connection between science and consciousness and how they interplay together. And in that last video I said something that was really important in that we seem to evolve as a culture from magic into science but really magic is science and science is magic. And I want to bridge our reality and our imaginations together because it's imagination that will fulfill and move forward what we see as a revolution. It's a revolution coming from our heart. And so I'm moving into a new space in the River Arts District in Asheville, North Carolina. It's one of the creative hubs of the Southeast. And it's an amazing location. And one of the things that have helped me move forward are the synchronicities, the connections within my own life and to the external how things have been happening, the patterns. Because my work is a lot about understanding patterns and sharing about those patterns. But a big part of that is the application, and that's seeing in my own life. One of those patterns, in terms of how things play out, is with cycles. And this piece of property I acquired on the, sol on the uh, equinox. Is it a coincidence? that I acquired this piece of property on the equinox. Because for a while I've been feeling the power of the equinox coming and what it is is a space. Because for the past few years I've been hitchhiking and traveling around the country and living bare minimum, I'm still living bare minimum, dumpster diving to get by. And most of the money, all the money I'm earning, I'm putting right back into the shop. And that the work I've been doing with selling coils and staves and wands is just to fuel the research to build the infrastructure and get things going and that I want to try to create a perpetual process or sustainable process for my own living to keep moving forward with this R&D and so this new space came into my life on the equinox I haven't had a space my whole life to say hey this is my space really and I'm going to be signing, probably, it's month to month at the moment, but in a couple months, I'll probably be signing a two or three year lease for this space. Being grounded in this location 
not traveling around as I have been, and really putting all of my energy into this energy. And the thing is, I need help. I've said this before, because there's only one piece to the puzzle that I have. Just one piece. Not a lot of puzzle pieces. But if we want a perpetual culture, perpetual society, really move into this sustainability, it's teamwork. And I'm the ideas guy. <laughs> and that's what I'm bringing to the table. So, what I'm asking is help to secure this space. I've had a few tricks up my sleeve and they've all seemed to fall through. And, well, one thing I feel I can do best is I can inspire and I can share my passions. And with that comes manifestation. And so I'm going to manifest this space to do some beautiful things. I'm in the process of putting a Kickstarter video together. It's still going to take some time. It's going to be very interesting. And it's going to help really move things forward, I feel. But it's going to take some time to get that up and going. And I'm trying to secure this space fast as I move in this Sunday. And a lot of people in the community are helping me. Um, someone even just donated a bunch of copper to me. Thank you, Phil. And it's, it's nice to see the community coming together and helping me. Sadly, our economy still runs on a form of energy known as cash. And it's, it moves things forward in this day and age. And hopefully, we'll evolve out of it. And so, I want to offer a quick idea for a fundraiser and uh, see if you want to help out. I've been having people purchase these coils and staves, but they require a lot of energy, a lot of time and energy to get them up and going. And I'm just getting to the point where I've just started making coils a few days ago. My Kickstarter is going to be offering a lot of the stuff I'm doing in the middle working shop. And um, one way I feel to get donations fast is, is through just PayPal. And I won't um, lose uh, fees to other services. And the thing I want to offer in return because I do believe in some form of exchange. You know, gifting does have its power. But what I do have to offer is my photography. And I've been a photographer since I was 14. And there's two photos I specifically want to offer. You're welcome to go into faki.com. My link is listed on my YouTube channel for my photography. So you're welcome to look at other photos if you want to order one. But I'm going to order two specific photos offer two specific photographs related to my work. One is a one-to-one -one square ratio uh, photo called the um, Coil of the Triple Eight. It's a picture of the octogram coil, the one that was gifted to Nassim Harami. It's a black and white photo. And then there's a three-to-two ratio uh, rectangular photo um, uh, called the, uh, the Druidus. And the uh, that's one of my copper stabs I, I built and a friend of mine posing in the picture and those are the two that, that relate to my work that I'd like to offer um, and I'm going to sort of set this up like Kickstarter but uh, it would be you sending donations to my PayPal gregorarturo at gmail.com with your shipping address to mail one of these photographs to as well as I have a Facebook group I'm putting up to support your grassroots mad scientist today. That link will also be in the captions of this video um, where if you do send a donation I would love it if you posted on the Facebook group of why you're donating because I feel this is an important thing to really understand the symbiosis of community and how we're coming together and how we're working together and you can also ask questions or any other comments. I did also put up another Facebook group called Thought Revolution, which I'll list in this caption too, just ask any questions about my research, because um, people have been sending me lots of private messages and emails, which are very valid questions, but would be great for others to see and hear. 
um, in terms of my responses and for other people's responses to join in as well. And so why I'm offering for donations is if you offer $10 or more, you'll get a 4x6 and a 5x5 five five of those two pictures I described. Again, you can also go to Faki and choose different pictures if you really want to. Um, for $20 or more, you'll get an 8x12 or a 10x10. 10 10. As you notice, there's the two different ratios. Um, for $60 or more, you get a 12 by 18 or a 16 by 16. For $125 or more, you get 20 by 30 or a 24 by 24. For $200 or more, you get 24 by 36 or a 30 by 30. And for $300 or more, you get a 30 by 40. And so that's the, uh, the gift I'm willing to offer. And, uh, I want to show also, there's also a video on YouTube of the new space you're welcome to go look at, of the silo, and, um, and on my Facebook of the, uh, the gallery that we're putting together, and uh, that we'll, we'll also be renting out in a couple months to display my photography and my other pieces of artistic work and to also teach about the, uh, the the free energy movement. And so a big thing, if you're even just a supporter of the free energy movement, is what I want to do with the silo is it's 40 feet tall and it's 36 feet in diameter. Is there's an art grant in town, and plus I know a lot of connections with the artists here in town, where we're gonna paint the entire silo, as it's a lot of it's graffitied right now, and paint it with Nikola Tesla and Walter Russell and Wilhelm Wright. And Victor Schauberger, but great scientists whose work is so fundamental to changing our paradigm of perspective, yet a lot of the work has been suppressed, as Wilhelm Reich was, himself was arrested in my hometown of Portland, Maine in the 50s, and later died in jail. And also to put sacred geometry and other concepts of science, of how energy moves and interacts with itself on this silo. So eventually we'll be able to give a tour of the facilities, um, but a big part of it will just be walking around the silo and using the entire silo as a teaching tool. And the silo can be seen by Pan Am, which is one of the main roads that drives through Asheville, and will be very visible. Will be visible to the entire city. And so, this is something I feel will be beautiful in terms of how it starts to influence the minds around us and really start to implement this creative effort. So if you're willing to help, um, thank you. It's very appreciative. All the information is also in the captions of this video. And uh, you all have a nice day. Thank you. And namaste. And keep a lookout for the Kickstarter. It's going to be interesting. Bye all.